and welcome to JustCompareCars.com. My name's James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2016 Nissan Navara. It's a Navara Techno Auto, 190 brake horsepower. It's got 92,000 miles and it's got full service history. It's also got the remaining amount of manufacturer's warranty from Nissan, which when new is five years or 100,000 miles. So there's still quite a bit left on it yet. Right, so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now. We find them really uh, popular because it means you get to see the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home, but as if you were here in person. Today I'll endeavour to go around the vehicle. I'll show you any marks, any scratches, any dints. We'll look at the wheels and the tyres individually. Uh, once we've done that, we'll look in the back. We'll look inside the vehicle, look at the functionality, look at the seats. I'll even tell you what it smells like. Once we've done that, we'll pop the bonnet, have a look under there. And finally, we'll have a look at the chassis and the spare wheel. Obviously, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see, you want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it, and we can pretty much deliver the vehicle anywhere in the world. Obviously, in the UK, it's a little bit easier. Worldwide, I will just need a port. Um, again, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see uh, and you want to finance it, um, a small deposit will secure the vehicle, obviously, in regards to that. We will ask you for a deposit to cover the VAT. An application takes about five minutes, and we can usually get you a decision within an hour. In most cases, you can drive away the same day. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, so um, I'm going to start with the bonnet and then we'll work our way around from there. I will apologise, it's quite early in the morning this at the moment and um, obviously there's a bit of morning dew on it. Um, I don't like washing them beforehand because obviously they've got leaves and stuff or whatever but um, as you can hopefully appreciate it's in great condition anyway and then we'll go around there. Right, so bonnet. Hopefully you can see from that it's in good condition. There's no obvious marks, scratches or dints. Nothing that's obvious anyway. And there is a little stone chip there. Can you see that? It's literally the size of a pinhead. Can't see anything else. Um, driver's side headlight is in good condition. Front grille's in good condition. And passenger headlight's in good condition. No damage. Front bumper, a couple of very small stone, no, they're not stone chips, ignore me. In fact, it's exceptionally clean considering the mileage, I think. So, um, passenger side front wing is in good condition. There are a few very light marks here. It's like it's rubbed against a bush. I think they'll probably polish out, to be honest, but obviously I can't guarantee anything. Passenger side front wheel and tyre, it's a continental tyre, looks like it needs a bit of air in its tyre. I'll sort that for you, it's not a problem. Uh, wheels in good condition, and I would say there's approximately four millimetres of tread. Windscreen's in good condition, there's no obvious stone chips or cracks. Right, so let's work our way down the passenger side. It's always a nice way to look at it like that because obviously you get your mirror image. It makes it easier to see if there's any dints. And I don't think there is. I can't see anything that's obvious anyway. On the roof, it's got roof bars. Thule, they want to be cheap. Decent quality. There's no damage on the roof that I can see. Mirror back's in good condition. Obviously, these have got 360 degree cameras. I will show you that working before we finish. Rear quarter is in good condition. Obviously, it's got a really quality canopy on. It looks like an original uh, Nissan manufacturer's one. Nice way to look at the uh, paint matches like looking at this part because obviously you get three parts of the vehicle and as you can see it's a great match in regards to the paint. That's what makes me think that, that probably was on it when it was new. Really smart canopy. Um, very expensive when new those. Right, so rear wheel and tyre, great condition wheel. Plenty of tread on the tyre. Right, so rear door is in great order, there's no obvious damage. 
as you can see there's a tow bar these will tow three and a half ton quite happily and also they'll do in excess of 40 miles per gallon in the right circumstances so 40 miles per gallon and it'll tow three and a half ton and it's got manufacturer's warranty left what more could you ask for great trucks rear bumpers in great condition as you'll notice there are front and rear parking sensors on these pretty much got everything that you would ever require really let's have a look inside so it's a decent size aperture plenty of space inside as you can see it's nice and clean it's obviously not been worked hard which is great news Right, so on to the driver's side rear quarter. Again, it's in great condition, there's no obvious damage. Tell you what, we didn't do that rear quarter, did we? Not properly anyway, so let's have another proper look. There's nothing that's obvious. Sorry for that. So rear quarter is in good condition and there's no obvious damage rear wheel and tire wheels in great condition again it's a continental and again plenty of tread right so let's go down the driver's side again it's nice and clean and there's no obvious damage Driver side wing is in good order. There is a small dint there, a little bit of paint missing, and there's a slight dint. It's not bad, but it is there. So, driver side front wheel and tyre wheels in good condition. It's matching to the other side, plenty of tread. Three or four mil. You will notice on these, you've got this weird little button here. If you've got your key in your pocket and your bag and your wallet whatever it will you press that and it will open it or lock it so driver door card is in good condition electric windows times four electric folding mirrors and your mirror control driver seat is in good condition bolsters are nice and firm it's nice and clean doesn't show its age or its mileage front seat works properly we'll go forwards and backwards you bring the tip up you can bring the base up the back will go forwards and backwards and also if you watch this part you can pump that up as well and that all works perfectly climb in it's a seven speed automatic gearbox as i said before that's really the main reason obviously combined with the decent engines um, they will do in excess of 40 miles per gallon um, really really good efficiency start it up um, as you can see, there are two keys for the vehicle and two keys for the canopy. Um, as you can see, hopefully there's no warning lights on the vehicle. Everything is good. Starts, runs and drives really well. So we'll turn that off. On the steering wheel to the right hand side is your cruise control at the top and then it's your phone control to the bottom. And then on the left hand side is your media centre with volume control. Um, media center itself let's have a quick look at the reversing camera perhaps you put it in reverse so to the left hand side you get your 360 degree view and then obviously to the right hand side is your reverse when you are uh, hooking up what i quite like is when you're reversing uh, next to let's say a curved area or if you're not sure you can't see obviously down here you can't always see down that left hand side if you click camera it gives you the left hand view there's a bit of water on that but gives you an idea I quite like that. Also, if you are put it into drive and you're parking up against like a wall or something, you get a front view as well, which is quite good. Uh, media center, it's a decent sized map. Um, there is plenty of options in there. It can tell you obviously when you're going up to a speed camera, um, it's to tell you the speed of the road that you're going on to, things like that. Um, you can do pinch and you can move it around with your finger, which is unusual actually, because not many of those do that at all. Um, a few other options on here is once you've got uh, your phone attached using the USB down here um, You can have my apps on there. You have Facebook and Google and all sorts There you go 
so you need to do that you need to obviously register it too it's not had a phone registered to it but um if you do that you've got your facebook uh, you can do use ways i think if i remember right um trip advisor there's all sorts um on the radio it is a dab radio it's pre-populated so obviously for wherever you are obviously you've got am fm etc as well let's take it off of that uh, what else let's have a quick look at the dashboard dashboard's in nice clean condition there's no damage everything looks nice and smart passenger seat bolsters are really firm the material's nice and clean it's in exceptionally good condition rear seats we'll have a look at those in a little bit more detail but from here everything looks smart headlining is good Everything's nice. So it's got an armrest in there. There is a 12 volt socket as well. Heated front seats, high and low. Switchable four wheel drive. Um, I think most people will tell you it's worth popping it into park or into neutral before you do that. And it's up to you. Obviously I reckon you can do it up to 30 miles an hour. Um, hill descent and also you can lock the vehicle and unlock it from here as well. And then another, another 12 volt socket there. Right, so let's switch that off the bonnet while I'm here which is just down there so in the back driver's side door card is in good condition got a spare plate for your trailer it's already made so that's nice handy seats are in clean condition in the back very smart I can tell you as an ex-smoker it doesn't smell to me like it's been smoked in which is always nice I can't stand it when you get in a vehicle and it stinks of fags um so yeah it's quite good everything's nice and clean let's have a look under the bonnet obviously these are a 2.3 engine it's 2.3 DCI 190 brake if I remember right so Obviously, it's got full service history. It's in great condition. Um, 2016 with 93,000 miles. Um, it, it's hiding its mileage really well. These trucks are really good and very hardy, to be honest with you, anyway. Turbo unit, as you can see, there's no oily residue. Everything looks nice and smart and clean. All the belts are in good nick. Um, There's no signs of any oily residue anywhere at all. All the levels are correct. Fluids look clean. It's all good. Obviously, someone didn't know. Um, with these, with the manufacturer one, if your battery went flat, take it to Nissan, they would have given them a new battery. Obviously, it's been changed, so it's got a new battery on there anyway. Let's have a quick look underneath. everything looks nice and smart under there no corrosion there's no obvious old oil leaks everything looks nice and dry we'll get rid of that hang on let's have a quick look underneath the back so it's obviously got a brand new spare which is also a continental so that's good and it's a full size alloy by the look of it so that's good news okay so hopefully i've shown you everything that you would need to see if you're here in person maybe a little bit more Obviously, if you think I've missed something, if you want to see something in a little bit more detail, please give me a shout. I'd be more than happy to do it for you. No problem at all. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. Bye bye.